Pearl Tutorial Part 43 Install a Pearl Module First of all, what is a Pearl Module? A Pearl Module is a discrete component of software for the Pearl programming language. It is distinguished by a unique namespace such as Now there are various ways to install a module on your computer. I'm just going to show you one. Now the Perl distribution comes with its own Perl module called the CPAN module, CPAN.pm, and that helps to automate the process of downloading and installing a Perl module. So I'll show you how to use the cpan.pm module. The first time I used the cpan module I had a couple of problems that I will explain at the end of the tutorial. Okay, the first thing to do is click on your start menu, go to accessories and come to the command prompt software. So now you have your command prompt tool open. Now type in Perl space dash MC pan like so space dash E space shell. Now this will load the C pan shell. So once you've typed in this, press enter. Okay, so now we can ask our command prompt to search CPAN for modules. So let's search for the some LWP modules. So first of all we type in I space slash and then some kind of keyword so LWP I'm going to search for some LWP modules so I'm just going to type in that and then you put another slash like so and now press enter and now the CPAN module has searched CPAN for available LWP modules and there's a big list here. So now if we want to install a module I'm going to install LWP socket. So now to install we come down we type in install in the name of the module LWP socket and then press enter and the CPAN module will do its thing. So LWP socket module has been successfully installed in the Perl folder. Now I come to my Perl folder and there's a folder inside called CPAN and here we have a folder called build LWP lib LWP and here's my socket modules here so that has just been successfully installed now 
Now, the first time you run cpan.pm, it will ask you for some configuration settings. So you can set your configuration settings as you wish. The closest destinations to you, etc. Now, some things I need to point out. In the cpan folder, when the cpan module is run, it creates a .lock file. Now, if you go to run the cpan module again with the command prompt, it'll say that it is locked. So, the way around that is to come to this folder inside the Perl folder and delete this .lock file and then the CPAN module will be unlocked and available to download another module. Now another problem I had was when I tried to install my Perl module the first time it said it came up with an error something about the nmake file so I had to come and find on the internet the nmake file which is a Microsoft file so you can come you can google it might be the best way or there is this address here I'll just drop this down Microsoft com slash download etc slash this or you can come to my website scriptsocket.com I've put it into a zip file the nmake15 which is the latest version dot x into a zip file here so scriptsocket.com nmake.zip download nmake15.x run that now it'll make um, a handful of files you need to put the two files in make.x and in make.err into your Perl folder inside the bin folder your Perl folder will usually be installed directly into your C drive like so so put put these two files into the Perl bin folder and then after I did that the installing Perl modules with the CPAN module worked fine Now there are other ways to install modules, you can do them manually, this is just one way. So the CPAN Perl module takes care of the whole process of downloading and compressing, unpacking and building and installing the module for you, so it's very easy to use. And if there's other modules that the Perl module you're downloading relies on then it will download and install those as well. Now if you want to have Perl modules installed onto your server you will usually have to email your host and ask them to install it for you unless you have permission to do that. So that's installing a Perl module.